hey welcome to this excel video tutorial in this video i'm going to show us how to create workbooks from worksheets so let's dive in here as we go along i'm going to ask you to pay attention and consider subscribing to the channel if you have not done so for more videos so let's see what we want to accomplish now the goal of this video is to create a standalone workbooks from each of these our payment method worksheets okay we have the Skrill, MasterCard, Visa Card, Western Union, and PayPal. So we want to have a standalone workbooks. Okay. Now I'm going to come to this folder. This folder contains the current Excel workbook. And by the time we finish the coding, we want to see the newly created workbooks here. Now I'm going to come back to Excel. So you need to actually ensure that you have your developer tab enabled. However, if you do not have it, I'm going to put a link in the description box below that shows you how to enable the developer tab in Microsoft Excel. Now we have the code window and you can click on the visual basic or you can even deploy the old F11, which is the keyboard shortcut. Now in the Microsoft visual basic for applications window, I'm going to click on insert and choose module. However, I've done that. I've clicked on insert and module and we have this where we can actually enter our code. Now I need a single variable to be declared. So I'm going to say the, my data. I'm going to say that to be a strange. Now I'm going to say my data equals to application dot active workbook. So I'll active workbook dot path. Okay. Now having done that, I'm going to say application dot screen updating. I want to say that to equals to false and application dot display a lot i want to set that to false also so i'm going to use the for loop and i'm going to say for each my sheets in this workbook dot so for this i'm going to use sheets i want to point to the sheet so what i want i want to copy so i'm going to say my sheet dot copy now having done that i'm going to say application dot Okay, application dot active workbook dot save as and then I need a file name colon equal sign. So for the file name, I'm gonna throw in this my data and I use a joiner. I need inside double quotes backward slash another joiner and I need my sheet. Okay, my sheet dot name another joiner and i need the file extension inside double quote also dot xl sx close the double quote click enter so application dot active work book dot close i want to close it and that's all i need to do so just put in you know next and that's all so all things being equal this code should work all right so i'm going to click on the run button Oh, that's beautiful. It's working. All right. I'm going to close this VBA window for a moment and come to the folder. Oh, that's amazing. So you can actually see the folder. Let's open the Western Union to see the record. Oh, that is beautiful. So we have the Western Union in the standalone workbook. Hey, this is essentially how we can create workbooks from worksheet. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you do, like, comment, share, and consider subscribing. Thank you and bye for now. Cheers.